take it up and again, I want to welcome to today's press conference. The press conference will be down in two parts, starting with the broadcast section and then finishing with the daily newspapers. If you'd like a question today, please use the raise hand function on Zoom. We'll get round to you as soon as we can. And when you become a panellist, please unmute yourself and you'll be able to speak. We're going to begin today's press conference with Paul Gilmore from Sky Sports News. Paul, unmute yourself and away you go. Hi, Thomas, hope you're well. Hi. Uh, Thomas, is Mendy fit and how much of a factor is the Manchester City game when it comes to your team selection against Aston Villa tomorrow? Mendy cannot play. He was not in training uh, so far. So we, we try to do everything for, for Saturday and to reintegrate him tomorrow in uh, individual training and, and hopefully Thursday's team training, but not yet. Um, and well, if you it's a matter of, of the amount of games and the load that we had for the players and there was quite some intensive games. So if the question is if we will have some changes, yes, we will have. I will not give you the lineup, but there will be some changes because we take the opportunity to to give important minutes and, and important minutes in important competition to to two guys who were like who are missing the minutes in the moment. This team of yours seems to be in a really good place at the moment. Do you think the balance and depth in the squad will just make you even more serious contenders this season when it comes to competing in, in all competitions? I don't know if more serious or not. We are, we are serious. We are doing things serious. And when we play a competition, we play, we play to win it because this is what we are and what, what the club and, and the... And the yeah, what the club demands and what what um, uh, responsibility from us is if we play and, and work for this club. This does not change. Uh, we are in the moment in a good place, like you say, because because we, we work hard and, and we value the, the, the opportunities that we have. And, and uh, the group is a strong group in the moment and, and uh, we have to take care about it every single day. It's not a given and it does not uh, last forever if it's in in the moment right now we have to take care about it and 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 uh, keep on going in, in the same way because we need to improve everybody will improve and and uh, we cannot stand still Timo Werner has has started on the bench for the last five games how, how do you see his role <coughs> within the squad within the team now that Romelu Lukaku appears to be the vocal point of, of that attack. Yes, and he can play with uh, Romelu, that is, that is sure, and he did very well in, in Tottenham the last 25 minutes, 30 minutes of the match. That, that gave, us, um, gave us a clear impression of, of how dangerous these two can also be together. Um, there was some disappointment uh, to brush off his shoulders from, from the Euros during the summer. And from the first games, I think he was not happy with the performances in the beginning. We were not absolutely happy because we know that he can be much more dangerous and much more, more, uh, um, much more of an attacking threat than he was. But uh, the stuff that you don't see, I see him uh, in the last training sessions more relaxed, more, more, um, more fluid in his movements, with more confidence, and that's why we put him on uh, earlier against Tottenham because we saw this development, and uh, there are clear signs that he is on a good way, and um, I hope he can show and prove it tomorrow. Last one, Paul. I was going to ask you about what did you make of uh, Marcus Alonso's decision to, to not take a knee? Do you like those kind of? things to be discussed amongst the group or I just want any general thoughts on that? It's not a discussion within the group but of course if, if a player takes a decision like this they're, they're, we are not, we are not in, a, in a bubble of course then, then the discussions comes up. The very, mo the very most important for me is that I know Marcus personally and I, I trust him 1000% that he is, he is absolutely committed against racism and any form of racism and uh, there is no 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 question about it, and uh, we are uh, we we are all against it. Uh, I mean, we took all together the decision to take the knee. Maybe it takes sometimes also um, a action against a routine to wake up again and to have another good discussion. And and uh, the discussion is uh, can only be in one direction because we always all of us have the same point. We want to do the most against racism and stand up against it. 
So there are different forms of doing it. Marcus took his uh, decision. He is a grown-up. He's a responsible person, and um, and it is his decision, and and we accept it. And he 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 gave his reasons for it, and 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 from here the the discussion can can end or can go on in a in a productive way, maybe to do more. So the most important is for me that we live it every single day, and this is what we do here at Common. John Temple, bye bye. Right, Thomas, just, just one more on that. Can you, can you understand Marcus's under, understanding? I think he said the gesture is, is maybe lacking some, some strength now and maybe it needs to go in a different direction. Can you, can, you see, can you see that? Isn't it always like this? Like once you do a gesture and then everybody's doing it and once you do it so often because there are so many games, it becomes norm, it becomes normal and then maybe it, it lowers the, 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 uh, the, the effect of it. Yes. And uh, if this is his point, I can see his point. We can now discuss if it's necessary to have this discussion and to be the only guy to stand up. Okay, you, of course, but I think he's, he's pretty aware of it. And uh, he is experienced enough, he is responsible enough. And, um, and that's the way it is, you know. Some, it, it, this development started also with single persons to taking a knee. And then uh, it became a bigger thing, and it, uh, I think Marco's point is that it cannot end like this, and that it cannot become normal. What should be normal that we are against racism, that should be normal. Uh, and I think I, I understand that Marcos thinks there's always always more to do, and it's also right. And at the same time, of course, we we want to focus on on sports, but but use the platform and use the. The the, the 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 possibilities that we have, how we live together, and how we how we produce performances together is is uh, living by example, and and uh, I think this is the most important in it. On tomorrow's game, you said you wanted to give players some minutes who haven't had minutes. Um, is, does Ruben Loftus Cheek come into that equation, and what impression has he made on you since he returned? Well, you know, we gave him some minutes against Zenit and uh, that was a close game. It was a Champions League opener for us and uh, we gave him some minutes and that was not a gift he deserved and, and I trust him because I see how he works and he, he uh, adapts to his situation and he accepts his situation and what he makes out of it is, is very, very good in training on a daily basis. So tomorrow there's a, a, big, uh, a big chance that he can show it on the pitch. And Sal, I presume, is, is another one who, need, who needs minutes. How long do you think it will take him? Well, now we're getting second? close to the lineup, yes, but <laughs> of course, uh, of course, of course, we want to give Saul some minutes. Uh, first of all, the guys want to have minutes, and they want also to show and to impress and 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 to keep on pushing. And we need some player to have more more competitive uh, minutes, and uh, we want to have a competitive team, and at the same time, use the opportunity. To, 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 to push some guys and, and, um, and, and to trust them uh, also in, 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 a, in, a, in a competitive cup match like, like tomorrow and, and Saul is also one of them. And just follow on Mendy, do you think he'll be ready to play City on Saturday or is it, is it a bit more serious than that? Uh, actually, I think it's possible but uh, it's, it's a bit a race against pain and race against time. So let's see. I hope he will be back in, in team training on Thursday. And if this goes well, he can be, he, then he's ready for Saturday. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know right now. Jay Simondra. Thomas, in yeah. more than half of your league matches in charge of Chelsea, you've made a substitute either at half time or before half time. I just wondered if you can explain your thinking when it comes to making those decisions. And do you think your proactive way of managing matches in game is part of the reason for your success? Uh, I hope, <laughs> otherwise it would, would not look good for me if it's not part of the success. Um, well, sometimes, uh, well, you know, there are a lot of thoughts about it. If you do it at half time, or if if there's maybe developments in the game that that you can wait a bit longer, it also is a is a form of trust that you show to the bench, so that you have people who can instantly have a have an impact and change a, a momentum. Um, well, but but 
yeah, it, it, it's not a general thing and we are not waiting for it and, and, and uh, looking for, for, for the opportunity to do as many early changes as possible. It's, um, it's like you said, it's, it's in-game coaching and um, adapting to, to what the, the game offers and, and what the opponents offer and, and maybe sometimes about spaces and tactic, tactical choices. In Liverpool, it was necessary because of a red card, and, and then it was again like a bit unlucky for for Saul uh, against against Aston Villa, and today we 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 had Angolo on the bench, and yeah, it was a little bit like um, we we could have also waited, but if you have Angolo, you 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 also want to have him on the pitch. So there are, there are different reasons. We are not waiting for it when we have the. The, the impression that it's the moment to do to help to help the team we we are not shy to take the decision but there will I'm pretty sure there will also come matches where we will take late changes because we're happy what we see I wanted to ask you about Thiago Silva he turns 37 tomorrow but he was man of the match against Spurs on Sunday yeah. what is the secret to his success is there something he's doing differently from some of the younger players just how has he reached those levels at the age he is, with the experience he has? Well, from the first day I met him in, in Paris, and, and of course I'm happy to have him here now in the squad. He was a fantastic professional and he was an outstanding captain. What a fantastic person. And, and the, the approach from him to, to, to recovery, to, to, to live, to live uh, this life as a professional player is simply outstanding. So it means like to what he eats, when he eats, how he recovers, how he trains. When he's on the pitch, he trains full on. There is, uh, there is no training, training session where he's trying to hold back. He's, he's one of the most, uh, most intensive guys in, in training physically. And uh, well, he gets obviously better and better with, with his experience and, and to step out of the, of the of the of 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 what he knew and of his like zone and of his status that he had in Paris to step out of this and and enter in the in the hardest competition in in Europe in this age shows what competitor he is uh, he is um, I, I don't look at age we just look at, at performances and then from then it, we don't care if you are super young or if you are like uh, a bit older like, like Thiago, this does not matter. He um, he's in a in a very good moment since since long time, and and hopefully he can he can uh, preserve or yeah. this 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 momentum and 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 these performances because it was well deserved that he was man of the match. Last one in the forecast section, Nick Pugh. Hi Thomas. Um, just on Timo, um, you could see. At the weekend, it looked like Romelu was, um, you know, when he played one ball in, in particular, he, 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 was, he seemed desperate for Timo to score. And it was really nice to see, obviously, him wanting his teammate to, uh, um, you know, to, to get that goal. Um, that, I suppose that partly shows the team spirit, but also does that show, you know, how popular Timo is and how much his teammates appreciate the hard work he does, you know, with his runs off the ball and things like that. And, you know, as we talked about before, I guess, well, one goal, yeah, and it shows shows also how Romelu is like like shows that that he knows how a striker feels that that lacks goals. Um, for me, the most important was that Timo was in better positions, and we had him again in dangerous positions around Romelu, and that he was not too 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 far out on the pitch, but he was actually in and around the box where where and and he had his chances in the box. And later he had the, the assist, which was well done, uh, also within the box. So this is more important, and, and more important is how, how he trains, uh, not only in, in pure quality of training, but also in the attitude. Uh, he, he in the moment he, he moves more, uh, more he's free in his movements and in his decision making is 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 uh, is with more confidence. Um, so sometimes it needs a bit of time and, and some, sometimes you don't even have uh, this one particular reason why, why things look a bit more easy. But Timo is in this moment and, and hopefully him also, he can push himself now and, and keep this momentum going. Um, 
yeah, everybody is 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 uh, is happy if he can can uh, show his skills in front of goal and can be dangerous because this is what we want, and this is why he's here to be dangerous to score goals, of course, and and also to assist and to create um, to open spaces with with aggressive runs, and this was a big step forward in in the last game against Tottenham. Okay, at the end of the. Oh.